Okay, guys, so I am moving right on. This is pretty interesting. Come on, grab your Bibles and let's move right on into the Word of God as we meditate and feed our spirits. <laughs> First Chronicles chapter 17. Come on. David is about to have a conversation with the Lord. Yes. Yes. He is such a great mentor. Oh, come on. Join me as we read First Chronicles chapter 17, the King James Version. It says, Now it came to pass as David sat in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Lo, I dwell in a house of cedars, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord Remain it on the curtains. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in thine heart, for God is with thee. And it came to pass the same night that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David, my servant. Thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not build me in house to dwell in. For I have not dwelt in a house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day. And I've gone from tent to tent and from one tabernacle to another. Wheresoever I have walked with all Israel, speak I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thou shalt, shalt thou say unto my servant David, thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, mm. even from following the sheep, mm. that thou shouldest be ruler over my people Israel. And I have been with thee whithersoever thou hast walked, and have cut off all thine enemies from before thee, and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and, I, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore, I tell thee, that the Lord will build thee a house. <laughs> and it shall come to pass when the, thy days be expired that thou must go to be with thy fathers, that I will raise up thy seed after thee, which shall be of thy sons, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me a house. And I will establish his throne forever. I will be his father. <laughs> and he shall be my son. And I will not take my mercy away from him as I took it from him that was before thee. But I will settle him in mine house and in my kingdom 
forever, and his throne shall be established forevermore. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Mm. <laughs> and David, the king, came and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is mine house that thou hast brought me hitherto? And yet, this was a small thing hmm. in thine eyes, O God. For thou hast also spoken of thy servant's house for a great while to come, and hast regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree, O Lord God. What can David speak more to thee? for the honor of thy servant. For thou knowest thy servant. O oh Lord, for thy servant's sake, and according to thine own heart, hast thou done all this greatness in making known all these great things. O oh Lord, there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel, whom God meant to redeem to be his own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness by driving out nations from before thy people whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. For thy people Israel didst thou make thine own people forever. And thou, Lord, became as their God. Ooh, therefore now, Lord, mm, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever. And do as thou hast said, let it even be established that thy name be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel. And let the house of David thy servant be established before thee. For thou, O my God, has told thy servant that thou wilt build him a house. <laughs> Therefore, thy servant had found in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thou art God and hast promised in this goodness unto thy servant. Now therefore let it please thee mm, to bless the house of thy servant that it may be before thee forever for thou blessed O Lord and it shall be blessed forever. Thus ends the reading of First Chronicles chapter 17. 
what a role model David is. Ah, such an awesome worshiper of the Lord our God. Mm. We must take note and follow the pattern of how David approached God. Mm. God said David was a 